So, you are welcome to today's class. I want to just make a brief sketch on this circuit diagram for you to understand how this circuit works, how voltage stabilizer diagram works. Some of them, and I said I'm going to start from the variable resistor. If you check this variable resistor, you find out that the pin is just one, two, and three. So, now, this biasing, one, a low voltage enter, a high voltage, and one, a low voltage. The low voltage can be ground, or it, can, or it might link to, they might add one or two components here before it link to this place. But what you have to understand that this place, this center leg, is the voltage across here is when the vary is where is the voltage you vary between high and low. So let me take a sketch. Normally here might be five volts. Here might be here ground. So when you are varying it, they are varying it between this ground and five volts. That's how some of them vary. Why some of them, the varying is between a particular voltage range. Some you might find out the voltage here is a minimum of 2 volts and here a maximum of 4 volts. So it is either some we use this or some we use, either some we use this A or some we use this B configuration in some voltage design. This one I'm seeing here. Now, this place. So we bias it with a resistor. Now, the resistor to the IC. The other leg of the IC that we make, that we give it a fixed voltage. A fixed voltage so this output will not go through some that we use 2.2k let me look what they used in this board the output in this one let me pick for one output there is let me pick this pin 9 pin 9 and let's see come to here they come like this come to here from here it comes to here let me see the value of the there okay they use two point two k which is almost the same thing of which I'm saying before two point two k now to the base of a transistor let me sketch it again from variable resistor to the ic from the ic to the transistor from the transistor to the relay this is just a sequence flow this is just a sequence flow so from what i'm sketching here let me redo this place sorry for the cancellation no? let me buy now this is a transistor Sorry, my hand is a little bit shaky you now. This place leads to ground, which is the emitter. This place is the base. Now, this is normally your 12 volts. The relay is here. Yeah, 
here is the contact here is normally close here is normally open it's here so like this circuit let me see what is used here i know it will be c1815 yes c1815 the transistor they use here is c1815 so they will now connect a diode across and they will still connect a capacitor across this is how they connect it if you don't have this capacitor or this diode you find out that when fluctuation comes in the relay will be triggering abnormally or it can't be stable especially when there's a difference in voltage for him to switch it won't switch effectively you'll just be hearing some you will hear the relay be making of which is not ideal so this won't help in allowing the voltage to flow only in one direction actually the voltage flows down through this section it will not it will not pass this section it flows through this section it will not pass through this section voltage flows like this don't be don't get confused pass it through here to ground relay triggers when the when this place is fired this is just the gate if here is not fired there's always a breakage around this place so it won't work so it's just like 12 volts connect this thing relay to ground so here we have something like a switch this place we have something like a switch and the base there is a signal sent to fire this switch to get close let's say we want to draw it like a switch or something like this so this one fires it and it closes so don't get confused this is just how it is in this one so my bias it so we decided to connect here direct to the ico but this 220k almost all of the uh, this 2.2k almost all of them like using it so microcontroller we use 1k so this is just a rough sketch for you to understand so meaning if i say let me trace one of these whoo this one there's no transistor it comes straight to pin 9 of the lm324 why this one is make fix this one is made fix this one is the one you vary with the potentiometer or the voltage fluctuation goes along with it and it gives an output when an output is needed so this is just a brief sketch on how this thing works from the variable resistor to the ic from the ic through a 2.2k to the transistor from the transistor to the relay and it triggers now if you find out that the voltage is falling down the voltage is not stable instead of him giving you a normal output the output is low these things you see look around you see 220k 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 they receive feedbacks from this line they are from this normal 220 this feedback line help in stabilizing the output of your stabilizer now this is ac from the transformer they passes through to 20k from the 220k then I link it through a diode you understand then you have already granted somehow to make this voltage stable 
we will read it when the time comes so that you understand the voltage lines on this stuff. So this one send the, the feedback. If you trace this, it leads to the IC. Because there are some voltage that will come in. That place you look at fixed won't be fixed. That will make a little adjustment on it. Because of the input that comes in here. Now, you might not be good at doing the whole sketch of this. But there are things you have to understand that if the voltage is not stable, try to read the dust, try to read the 220k. So we will read, we will make a, a, a summation of the reading of what is needed here. We will make the reading on uh, when it's not powered and when it's powered for us to understand the behavior of these components on this board. So once again, this is a few sketch on the diagram I can give to you now. If you are here to subscribe, subscribe. We will soon end up this class. If this fan interesting, we are planning on having a more electronic research lab to bring you more. Uh -huh. So if you want to send your support financially, it's up to you. We'll be looking at 3 million to see how we could get that electronics lab and get one or two steel sets. And let's make our work more our work more efficient. So if God lays this in your heart to support the ministry, the account number is below. You can do that. Tomorrow is uh, 28th of April. It's my birthday. And that is why I'm taking time to come out with this course. If not, I would have just come up with my normal video ring, but I just have to like give this out for free because even stabilizer repair, I will soon stop it. So once again, thanks for everything. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your view. Make your comment. And some of you might be. Let me just stop here. Thank you.